What we're talking about here is hitting record after record after record hot day and setting record after record demand across the state. We take electric power for granted and expect it to be there when we need it, but this weather sure isn't making that easy. It's good to see you again. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. It is the 23rd triple digit day of 2022 here in Lubbock, and those air conditioners are working overtime because of it. But maybe they shouldn't be. KMAX John Phillips talked with Lubbock Power and Light today about why they say conservation is the key to surviving this summer. Well, Lauren, Brian, here we go again. If you tell a Texan to turn their thermostat up to 78 degrees, most of us are going to roll our eyes at you. We remember February 2021, and no one wants to be the person sweating through the summer only to have our power turned off when the grid can't handle the state's demand. But I spoke with LPNL earlier today, and they said that comparing what's happening right now with what happened a year and a half ago is like apples to oranges or summer to winter. You should not take that as an immediate sign of a crisis. Supply and demand. ERCOT says they're keeping a close watch. And they've issued a resource advisory asking us to please watch our resources, manage them conservatively, conservatively, because it's going to be tight. Especially on days when wind power isn't producing. Normally can provide up to uh, 20 or 20,000 or more megawatts of power. Right now is, is providing less than a thousand megawatts of power. But the grid is made for this. On that same day or days, we saw solar stand up and produce at over 90% of its capacity. Lubbock Power and Light spokesperson Matt Rose says, in fact, you don't even have to conserve if you don't want to. But if every customer does a little bit, then across the board, it helps the overall system stay healthy. Texans typically uh, step up and volunteer to help out. That will uh, reduce uh, some of the demand on the grid. But Rose says even if that didn't happen, those rolling blackouts the state saw during the winter storm last year aren't happening. We have not seen any sort of a fault in the system. The system has worked, and we've seen folks, the, the, the benefit of that conservation. That's not to say there won't be outages, but those are due to debris on the line or normal wear and tear. Long story short, the grid is fine. Please do not take that as a system failure or anything greater than what it is, which is just our line out there performing their normal everyday duties. Again, energy conservation is voluntary, but there is another reason that you should be conserving right now, and that is your bill. If you look at the peak hours between 3 p.m. and 7 p.m., then you can do a few things just to make your bottom line a little bit better. Things like closing your blinds, or instead of having your AC going strong, just turn on a ceiling fan. Or you can load your dishwasher, but don't actually start it until after 7 p.m. That's just another way to make your bill a little bit better and get a better bang for your buck when it comes to energy.